Red alert, my blue owls. You know what? Uh, updating your windows could make your PC, well, as slow as a turtle, less stable, uh, and even unusable. Don't rush to do it. We'll tell you why Windows 11 24H2 might not be the best option and how you can handle it. But wait, stay until the end. Do you know why? Because uh, we'll show you a trick that, well, Microsoft doesn't want you to know to prevent them from forcing you to update. Join me. Let's get started. Microsoft releases new versions every year, but are they really better? The latest ones often bring bugs, compatibility issues, and excessive resource consumption. A real example, a Windows 11 22H2 had performance issues on SSDs at the beginning. Microsoft knows this, which is why in enterprise versions like Windows LTSC, they keep older builds for stability. In conclusion, if you need a reliable system, it's best to stick with Windows 11 23H2 or Windows 10 22H2. Well, in short, as I said right now, it's, you know, if you need a reliable um, and trouble-free operating system, it's best to stick with Windows 11 23H2 or Windows 10 22H2. And I'll explain why. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you two links in the video description directly from Microsoft forums. And they are their lifelines or the life cycle that we all know within the technical part. But you as an end user, if you are an end user, well, I think you might find that interesting and please share it with a friend because we're going to raise a little awareness and take a step back into the past. Sometimes a step back is not no, well, we regret it, but it's actually really a good advice, right? Two little steps, one step back is better than four steps forward. I'll explain why. Microsoft introduced Windows 11 on October 4, 2021, of which we have, uh, uh, well, few versions in theory compared to Windows 10. We're talking about one, two, three, four versions. From there, we later have Windows 10, which was released on July 29, 2015, and is ending its official support on October 14, 2026. Here we have the retirement date for this build. Yes, guys, October 14, 2025. Watch out. What does this tell you? That this year is the retirement of Windows 10. However, here we can see all the builds they released and the time when their support ends at the time they were published for all of us as the big premiere and the part where Microsoft no longer provides support for these builds. Here we have their entire schedule, okay? Or as I mentioned, their life cycle. What I'm getting at is that right now, the latest version that Microsoft released was version 22H2, which was released on October 18, 2022. I know what I'm telling you right now may be a little boring, but I invite you to really stay until the end. Why? Because you need to listen to me about that. Because after this, believe me, you're going to become a Superman at avoiding very, very consistently. Windows errors. Especially if the latest version, 24H2, has been giving you headaches right now. And everything Microsoft has given us, well, like those crumbs in... New features, new innovations, new implementations, but for many, it's not about that. So if we have somewhat basic or mid-range hardware, it's causing us conflicts and errors. And there are several testimonies in the community. However, let me explain to you here what we're going to do to avoid this. I've already told you about the lifecycle section here. Here we have the latest version of Windows 11 24H2 which was released just a few months ago on October 1st, 2024, so its support ends on October 13, 2026. We're talking about practically two years of follow-up support that they're giving to each version. Now, why did I tell you in the video that we need to go back to either 22H2 or 23H2 because they were released on October 31st, 2023. Note October 31st, 2023 for Windows 11 23H2 and 22H2 on October 18th, 2022. So, we are talking about having over practically two years of support in Windows 10 and, well, a good maturity of the system. We're in 2025, so everything was worked on throughout 2024 and part of what we've got so far. 
which means this version of Windows 10 has two years of stability. That's why it's so mature. And it's almost 100% well verifiable with very few errors, okay? With exceptions, of course, like with any version, right? Without the change here, for example, in 23H2, released on October 31st, 2023, Microsoft will support it until November 11th. That is, this year in 2025. This with my owls. I've talked about it in some live streams, but how wonderful it is that today we can discuss it in such a concrete and simple way. What we're going to do from now on, guys, I know we want to get to the latest trends and the hottest topics. Unless you are a developer, a developer, a creator of X ecosystem, X applications, software, website, whatever you want, or the latest in terms of technologies for limited resources. Oh, and it's good, guys. Almost the boss is going to get a slap, but it's normal. It's normal. The boss is just a little guy. Play the video. Okay, let's continue. I was going to ask you what I was talking about. What I'm getting at, guys, is that if you notice, look at the maturity cycle. If it was released in 2023 and we're in 2025, Windows 11 23H2 has been out for two years without any issues in the market, okay? So it's less prone to errors, even though there are still updates for certain integrations. But right now, in this little video, we're just going to see how we're only going to have certain security updates, like the LTC versions. And this really doesn't sound grounded or makes no sense. Where is this foundation? You can see it in their enterprise versions of Windows, the LTSC versions, right? And at one point when it was LTSB, what happened with this? Well, Microsoft decided to tell us, you know what? I'm going to give the enterprise versions the opportunity to only receive updates for, well, security, okay? And if we need to migrate them later to what would be some fundamental feature, well, then we'll see in three years what we do. What happened with the LTSC version in Windows 10? What is its latest version? I'll leave that as homework, so write in the comments. And how many years passed before they released the LTSC version of Windows 11? Watch out. So, are you getting all the gears in place? Are you really starting to see what's going on? Well then, guys. With that said, I think that nowadays, whenever a new update comes out, the latest and greatest if it's going to be released at the end of the year and there's still no configuration and it's going to be called 25H2, well, only at that moment would it make sense to migrate to an earlier version. I'm going to be doing it this way. And in fact, well, we've already been handling it within the group of administrators that I'm going to test. Why? Because it's really going to give us some relevance and a little less, I tell you, errors. I'm not saying that we're exempt from it because there can be... Without, on the other hand, it's less prone why because right now well the latest and greatest from our good friend well besides the trend and the fashion microsoft released 24h2 on october 1st 2024 and from there we have support until 2026 but we're talking about months after it was released so it's very sensible to go back to 23h2 and i'm going back as you can see i have version 23h2 build 22631 okay and I had to roll back for several reasons. One, several applications that I use, especially from the range, well, not so new, but mainly from the post-production side, there's still no support for 24H2. The blue gems that I use for editing, optimization settings, and especially for my virtualization work, have been greatly affected in 24H2. There has been some error, there has been some conflict, there has been a ton of little details that have given me a lot of headaches. That's something I'm not experiencing with 23H2, and even less so with 22H2. So, that's why it's a step back. But not from all the nonsense. I'm going to wait until November 11, 2025, and until then I would update to 23 or 24H2. Also, if you have a Windows 10 build, check it out. It ends its support on October 14th, 2025, so the best option is to migrate to Windows 11 24H2 by that date. This way, we give 24H2 a chance to be more mature, less prone to issues. And that's why we'll always be using an earlier version. Okay, I'll leave that there for you to consider. And well, that's it. Let's move on to the next thing. There we have it, guys. As you can see, we have the latest version of Windows 11, 23H2. Okay, 
So more than anything, you went through the whole process and it's mainly a chat we had previously. There it is, we have it, 23H2. In all its glory, the latest build incorporated up to 4974 as of today. Here at Ubiquiron, we're making sure that you always have the integrated UD, so you don't have to close the previous version and possibly update. This is especially helpful for those of us with very limited bandwidth in different countries in Latin America. So, having a complete ISO with all the integrations that Microsoft is releasing is great. Well, polished, it would be great for you to have this integration, okay? You're going to find this in the following way. In the description of this video, you're going to go, for example, to explain it. One of the videos we have on the channel comes up here. And right here, the video you're watching at this moment, you're going to click on more. Please, guys, on more. Okay. You click there and you'll have either the ISOs for 23H2 or 22H2 completely updated with the latest integration directly from this link. It will say tools used or downloadable ISO or something like that and you'll just click there. And hey, a lot of people say, hey Victor, but this is the new video. Click here on more for heaven's sake. And there we already have the versions or everything that we use in each tutorial. Okay, you can do it that way or you can also join the Discord group in its forum. It will also be there. These distributions for download with their latest update and integration. Now, that's all well and good, but Victor, how are we going to prevent those features from updating directly when we have version 22H2 or 23H2 of Windows 11, especially when they try to force us to migrate to 24H2 to keep us stable on a commercial version of Windows? And it's very simple, right here on our YouTube channel, we have a video explaining that the beautiful soul on how to use it, not just to get delivery updates, but also everything related to system optimization. But all right, let's focus on the tool right now in here. As you know, it's directly one of the great tools we've been using on the channel, along with other friends who make system optimization possible. You're going to go to its official GitHub repository. You already know from Superman, and you're going to copy the link directly from the stable part. Well, if you want to venture into the developer part, but that's a whole different story. Let's go ahead and copy because we want something stable, right? So let's go here to the search bar, type in PowerShell and uh, click here. We run it with administrator privileges and say yes. We're going to run the tool by clicking, hit enter and uh, voila. As the boss says, right? Yes, I know. As you say, Miss Boss, yes, yes, yes. What happened, Kira? Guys, the repository for this iconic tool has just been updated with different categories and subcategories, okay? But well, the important thing here is the following. You're going to go to where it says updates and here we have three options. I'm not going to detail them for you, right boss? Okay, because for that we have a complete tutorial video where Sol explained each of the application's functions, okay? But here for this video, to wrap it up with a conclusion and perspective, since it's one of the favorite tools, yes, I know you love it, right? Yes, it's one of our boss's favorite tools. Let's click here where it says security, okay? This will prevent our windows from updating with the new, well, development integrations and the uh, innovations that somehow create instability on certain machines. So we will only receive security updates. We click here, it's done. We accept it and that's it. It shows up that we're now set to receive that type of updates and not the others that cause us a ton of conflicts and problems. And your boss, director. Now you have a more stable and secure Windows without the errors from the newer versions. Okay. And just like that, you regain control of your PC. Don't get carried away by the rush of updates. Keep your system stable and optimized. Thanks for sticking around until the end, but be careful. Microsoft could force updates at any moment. If you want to protect your PC and get more tricks like this, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, because we'll be revealing more secrets. Now tell me in the comments, has Windows 11 24H2 given you any problems? Share your experience and we will respond to you personally. And if you want to learn how to create a completely customized ISO without bloatware, check out this recommended video. See you next time.